Okay, this next video is going to cover how to add files or import files from your computer or from a drive like Google Drive. Of course, putting a file inside of Schoology is different than providing a, an external link to a file like if you were going to give somebody a link to a document that you have saved in a Google Drive but there are some benefits to having files themselves just uploaded directly to Schoology. So the assignment is that you can that you're supposed to import a file, a document of some kind, whether it's a PDF or a Word document, uh, into your folder. So click on your folder that you created. And again, this is basically just like another chap, uh, another page, another layer where again, you can add any content you want. You could put another folder within a folder, uh, make it sub layered. Uh, for now, what we're going to do is we're just gonna click on the add a file, link or external tool. There's three options here. If we needed to provide a link, we could right here. This could be a video. This could be a website. We're gonna click on the one that says file. Notice the options down here, align learning objectives. So if this has to do with a specific learning objective that your state has set up, like a common core standard, you can actually click on that and it would bring that up for you. You can toggle this to make it hidden or visible from students. So you can make entire courses folders or specific material available or not to students. You'll always want to double check this because I've been burned before. I've sent assignments home to students knowing that it's in Schoology and I'll get emails all night long saying they can't find the, the material that they were supposed to do for their homework assignment and I'll have to reset it and then reassign it the next day. So you'll always want to make sure it's visible to your students if you're ready to assign it and then of course you can still copy to courses. Other than that, we just need to pick a file. So I'm going to pick a PDF with my first lesson in it and click open. This is actually saving this file onto your Schoology, kind of like as if it were a drive. And then once you once it's done loading, click add. I should be able to now click on this and it should come up as a PDF. Always double check to make sure that your file does work. Always click on it and make sure it went through. Students can always download the, the links. If you go back to your course, I'm going to show you what it looks like now. So again, here's your folder and your drop down box will now show you what's inside of that folder. Okay. You can click on the folder and it'll bring all materials up. If you click on this, it should come up with the document. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now it's working. Okay, good. So it just had to convert it for us. And it works just fine. I like that this still gives you the feature so students can download the files if they need to. They can print it. It's controlled within Schoology's interface. There is how you upload files.